Hey everybody, we're going to inspect this part really quick in Polyworks. I have a file set up here, but this is what a routine part inspection would look like when you're using the arm with the scanner attached. So in Polyworks, I'm hitting a few features here. Whoops, got the wrong one, but yeah, there we go. Um, setting up a perpendicular planes alignment for this part, because we have the CAD model for this, so we are aligning the arm to it. Now I'm grabbing that center location and I'm prompted by Polyworks to do each one of these steps in the autoplay sequence. And it's asking me to scan so I can hit these features that are outlined in blue. The scanned areas that light up blue, um, Polyworks is letting me know that it's not too confident in that data. There's something up with the normals. So might want to go back and hit that again. Like that cone, kind of top center of the part there, lit up pretty blue. It's saying, hey, we don't have quite enough to extract that information, so you should cover that, which I will do here in a second. Kind of focusing on this radius here because in my file I pull out a uh, radius gauge and use that, so I want to get a good, good radius in that area. There we go, got it. I'm going to hit this cone from a couple different angles here. Uh, Polyworks is showing me a blue area there, so it needs more data to extract. Then the final step will just be to uh, hold the red button on the ferro arm, which tells my sequence that I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and stow the arm here, and we heard the ding ding from Polyworks, which means that the inspection is complete. Now we're able to rotate around the port report. We have uh, a, a color map overlaid over the CAD model for deviations. You see that cylinder there was fit from, from points. We're going to go in and check out the report, which some of those annotations were floating, but uh, you might need a PDF. Sometimes that's the primary goal. So we can take a look at those. Uh, this pretty report is ready to come out as a PDF or an Excel. And of course, back in the 3D scene, we can see some of these annotations. We could pick points and add more measurements if, if needed on this part. And just for reference, I wanted to show what the CAD model of this part looks like. So in a perfect world, it should look just like this.